What? What a shot! <laughs> Absolutely buzzing. What the f This is gonna be a lot harder than we thought. We good? Rollins? My name's Liam Wilby. I'm from Wellington, New Zealand. I'm a 12 handicap golfer. Today my target is to use less than 25 mulligans to break par at Paraparo Umu Beach Golf Club. Played here a couple of times now and I've never gone below the mid 80s. The thing about mulligans, I'm not just taking shots off my round. I've actually still got to hit the good golf shot. I've got the course guide, I've got the pin positions. I've got no excuses. Today I'm breaking par. Par for 350 meters. Uh, massive wind left to right. So try get it in the fairway. Try get it on in two. Two putt. It's the theme of the video. Oh, that's the fun part of being on camera. I might have to use one on the first here. Nah, don't, I reckon. No. I want to kind of use a mulligan here, but it's not the start I needed. How are those first tee jitters? Uh, terrifying. Liam's just up on a bit of a hill here. Uh, like 190. Just gonna try to get this near the green and then back my short game, which is not what I wanted to be doing on the first hole. <laughs> this is brutal, man. That's safe. I'm gonna have to play that one. Far out. If you use one mulligan per hole, oh, yeah, like one mulligan per hole is, is decent. Now I need to get up and down. Just had a coffee and I'm absolutely shaking. Pretty nervous that I'm just gonna ruin the video by playing bad golf now. Need to get a good one here. Confidence booster. Also realize I might have not bring enough balls. It's like, do you use a mulligan now, back yourself to get closer, or do I just accept a bogey on the first hole? and hunt birdies for the rest of the round. What would you I do? reckon use a mulligan now. Guarantee a par? Yeah. All right, all right, mulligan. That's what we like. Ooh. I think now I'm just guaranteed a bogey though again. Far out, this is tough man. I've done terribly bad here. I've, my second mulligan I just used then, I've actually put it further away from the pin. So now I've got to make this putt because I probably should have used a third mulligan, but I'm so rattled. It's all right, nice simple pop up. What do you want to do? I have another go at it. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not missing that. I think I've just got to take the bogey, bro. This is not what I needed. It... Oh my God. This is going to be a lot harder than we thought. What a capitulation. I've got a bogey as well. I'm not, I'm so far behind track. What did I say? I said I was going to do this in 25. That was a bad hole. That's all right, I've got good golf in me. I'd like to blame my caddy for that. I should have used my mulligan off the tee shot. I put my hand up, I convinced him, and he's the whole reason I play bad golf. There. It's all his fault. The flow on effect of that. Just mentally, I was just so, I was just chasing great shots for the rest of the hole. I'm one over par, three mulligans used. 140 meter par three. I just need a guarantee par, just a nice comfortable seven iron onto the green. I might take a couple of mulligans just to get myself a birdie if I'm close. Really bad start for the program, but we move. That's looking real nice. A nice swing, dead at the pin. I think I'm on the green, so on a par three, it's quite scary. Oh, uh, my head's gone. Green. Oh, I've got a good look at it. It's a birdie look, it's a decent birdie look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we thought you were. We thought we were, so we thought we were like five meters away. He's like 15? It is a birdie look technically, but it's also a really tough two part. So I'm just going to try to get a mulliganless par. It's a new phrase, mulliganless par. We like that. From there, I'll take that in a normal round. Yes. That's right. I mean, I'm still over par and I've still used three mulligans, but you've got to take the little wins when you get them. Mulliganless par. New phrase, never said it before. You're gonna be hearing it a lot today. Hey guys, uh, like this video for no reason. Yeah. Hey, if you're a legend, leave a like. All right, Liam's coming up to a par four. I'm gonna use my safe club off the tee, my three wood, as you saw on the first hole. Massive wind, and I've developed a little draw hook with this. Yeah, I'm all right, I'm taking that. 155 meters, gonna quickly tee off because I'm on another fairway. Yeah, I'm gonna back my short game. Liam's got a wedge shot over the bunker now. 
I guess you just need to take enough mulligans to get it part. within part of it. Yeah. That's it. Simple. Just a nice simple up down. <laughs> Jesus. Short sided over a bunker. Chip in. Oh. I think I'm just going to go until I make that putt. And if you use a mulligan, you have to use whatever you've just taken. Yeah, exactly. It. What if I did mulligan it, duff it in the bunker? I won't take more than four chances to make that putt. That's <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing. I thought I was going to be there for like 10 shots. <laughs> oh, oh, mate. What do, we, what do we call those, Lev? Mulliganless pars, baby. Now I've just got to figure out how to hit it onto a bloody fairway. We're back. I'm still one over par and I've used three mulligans, but we're back. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. You know the rules. Par four, bunkers around the green. 0 for 2 on good tee shots with the three wood. I think I might go four hybrid. I'm going to say this now. It goes really straight. <laughs> I was gonna try lay up here with a four hybrid, then I realized it's a 400 meter par four, and I won't be able to get there in two if I hit the four hybrid. So I'm just gonna hit driver until I hit one long and straight. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it went straight. Did that ball go straight? Yeah. You're a wizard, Harry. What? What? Yeah. Maybe that's why my driver hasn't been going straight recently. Maybe it was broken. If you're watching this and you make golf clubs, please send me a driver, because I need one. What the f*** just happened? <laughs> <laughs> what? My baby. Send Liam a driver .com. Right here. When I've had this since I think I was 13 or 14 years old, I'm 26 now. I think it's a kid's driver that was extra large at the time, maybe. Bro, I'm in the Yeah, you're in the field. What a shot! So all I need to do to hit good golf shots is break my driver. I'm gonna hit a, just a, a pee wedge up there and try get a birdie. I think you need to be on the green. You need a two putt. Yeah. Good news is, I'm still in play, I'm here for one. Put this close to the pin. Sorry, I just realized I walked right in front of the tracer. The ball short left of the green, I'm putting. What a line, mate. I'll take that. I'll just go tap that in, eh? So, another par. One mulligan used. We're on. Onto the four, onto the fifth. All right, so we're four holes in. We're learning a bit of strategy. Four mulligans used. So I'm on track for That's like, not bad. That's all right, I need a hunter birdie out. I think going forward, you basically need to be on the green in regulation. Use enough mulligans to do yeah. that. I've got a par three here. Tabletop green, pretty hard green to get on. We've seen a few mulliganless pars today. Should I want to see a mulliganless birdie, also known as a birdie. <laughs> Come on. Ah, it's off. Same shot, just better. Oh, it's over the back. You're gonna need to use another one. Do you reckon? Yeah. What if I like miss again? All right. All right. That was so short. I don't think it's an eight iron, eh? I don't know what's going on. Play that. This was my fifth shot there. I've used four mulligans. It's in a worse spot than the other four. I was just so angry. I need to get off that tee box. I need to go up down here. That's fine. I think I'm gonna take that. five and got a bogey. Should have just used my first or my second and not try to get a birdie sake. 
Oh my god. No. Par four, like 300 and something odd meters. Oh, it's beautiful. It'll do the trick. About like 50 meters, a little touch shot with this 60. This is a par four that is, is quite birdieable now. Mate, I think I'm gonna hit that putt until I get a birdie. I mean, that's four meters. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm okay. not full of confidence. Hit the ball, man. Oh! I think I, think I just have to do it, right? What do you reckon, man? I think take the par. Well, I just used eight mulligans, though, and now I've got to get it like that. If I'm tr I have to break part of that, it means I need three birdies, bro. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh! Give it to him. No! I used so many mulligans, I didn't get a birdie. Not a good result. Uh, par five, definitely getting a birdie. Oh my god, that's terrible. That'll work. What we've realized, which is kind of obvious now, is it's easier to use a few mulligans to get a par than it is to use heaps to try and make back a birdie. 16 mulligans on what, I was in green and red with the six meter par, so it would have been a mulliganless par on the first one. That's quite hard to cope with mentally right now. That's put me through the ringer. What you also can't do is, is miss a green on a par three, the hole before, and the hole before that, you can't break your driver. We are six holes in, I've been spun out and chewed out. Windy is all get out. I reckon just go for an eagle here. Oh, he's absolutely pured it, but it's going left. What do you reckon? You need to make a birdie. That might do it. Give him something. I reckon take it. I think I'm taking that. I think you might be in the bunker. He needs an up down from the bunker. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Hitting this until I get a birdie, take two. Oh! There we go. Yes! Five mulligans, but I got a birdie back. So I'm currently one over par. I've used well over my goal of 25 mulligans. I ended up taking some bogeys early on, which I, I shouldn't have, and now I'm just absolutely chasing. Oh, it's a tough day out, man, like a brutal day. I'm a bit mentally weak, but I'm one over now. Just wanna play some good golf, get a couple of pars on there, get a natural bird. Look on the bright side, you're, you're breaking par today. I just don't feel good about the way I've done it strategically. Par four, 300 and something odd meters. Oh, that's more like it. I'm there for two. I think I get closer and try to get a birdie. I'd say just take it, but up to you completely. I need a birdie. Yeah. You gonna go for it? Yep. Oh. I can take it, man. I tried. Not ideal. It was a really tough 60 degree with heaps of wind. All right, need a two putt. Think I get closer or I go to like make that? So one more, one more. I don't think you're gonna get further away than that. Go in. Go in. Go in. Oh. Watch out for the bunker, brother. <laughs> Imagine that, bro. You just see like you look. Oh. I'm not counting anymore. <laughs> We'll put it up here somewhere, but that was about six mulligans there just to get a par. We've established to ourselves that we're going to do this again and we're going to do it better <laughs> if I hunt the pars. Instead of just being like, oh yeah, I'll take a bow here, I'll take a bow here, I'll pick up birdies later. The other thing is, this, I don't know, I'm out of words. Hey guys, it's Dan. I was behind the camera before and now I'm in front of the camera. I reckon me and Liam are going to do this a bunch of times on the channel. Whatever Liam gets here, when I do mine, I'm going to try to beat it. I'm also out of words.
It's so windy. I've got to get two more birdies. I've got 10 holes to do it. I'm going to just love tap a four hybrid down there. Par four again. Oh, that's so perfect. So Liam's in a tough spot. He's about 140 meters away, but he's got a blind shot. You'll see in a second. That should do it. Go in. Nice. Only two mulligans on that hole. I'm at about 50 mulligans. The strategy was terrible. Because at the start, like one mulligan oh, seems like a big deal. No, I was aiming for like one mulligan a hole. And yeah. then I just sat there just rifling out putts, chasing a birdie. The wind doesn't help. What was the other excuse we came up with? Uh, my golf. It's gone. 270 meter par four. It's drivable, not usually for me, but some people can drive it. I'm gonna try to just go three, three wood. Three wood. I need two birdies on this back nine and it's so windy. gonna work what about we pretend that we're starting we're again even back nine no mulligans what if I just go nine pars in a row positive mentality I'm gonna shoot two under on this back nine with 15 mulligans 65 meters away from the pin I think so I've got a good chance to get a birdie here but I'm not gonna get arrogant I'm just gonna chip it on and take a two putt par I think I like it yeah that rolled down there nice man I might take a couple of looks at that I'm gonna hit as many putts as I need to get a birdie. <laughs> oh, that line! Yes! Back to even par, I used one mulligan on that hole. I'm one under through this back nine. And the sun's out, I'm smiling a bit again. Broke my driver on like the third. Makes it really long on a windy day. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. All right, Liam's coming up to a par four. Oh, mate, that's perfect. That's more like it. Oh, mate. Oh, he's got another birdie chance, although it's an absolute mile away. <laughs> No. Whoa. No, oh. no. No, go in, go in, go in. I'm walking it in. Yes, very nice. In for a par. We just got played through, so we're rushing a little bit. Long par five. I'm not getting there in two today anyway. Don't have a driver. Things are calming down a bit. I'm in a better mood. I'm hoping my four hybrid gets over this hill. <laughs> That's gone, eh? Yeah, it's nice. We are even par, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. I'm up here for two on a par five, so dare I say, guaranteed birdie. <laughs> Just how many mulligans? Birdie time. Woohoo! I'm in a good mood again. <laughs> Sorry about the last six holes. I'm gonna putt this, I'm here for two. I'm just gonna get it up there and give myself a birdie look. <laughs> that was terrible. I could have I could have done that with the chipper. Hit the ball. I'm in a world of confusion. I try to be smart and hit a putter. That's beautiful, take that. Let's make a birdie putt. <laughs> a little bit further than we wanted, as usual. Let's try to keep it at a, a four mulligan birdie. Put it in. Oh. Yes. Five mulligans, birdie. I'm one under par now. I can relax and just use mulligans to get pars for the rest of the round. Six holes to play now. The hard yakka has been done. 
I've caught up my bogey disasters. The next six holes will be the best six holes of this video. If you've made it this far, <laughs> thank you. I can like sit here at peace. I really am not in a position to be bragging, eh? <laughs> Tell you what, when you have 20 odd shots just to get a par, you know, you don't feel too good about yourself. You're like a Russian doll. I've got a par four, 390 odd meters. Getting greens and rig, cruising my way home. Still gonna play good golf. I, I've got a bit cocky here as usual. <laughs> you just fluctuate from like. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the absolute pits to like, I think I'm just the best man in the world. <laughs> That's oh, actually yo. not bad. Bro, this club feels like it's about to break now. I'm real like scared. <laughs> so I'm 180 to the front. First time I've ever hit a four iron on the channel. I've never had a four iron before. Thank you very much, Tacoma. Bit nervous. Surely, get up there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Uphill putt. That was smart golf from me and the caddy there. Happy days. Thanks, Tacoma. Cheers, Tacoma. Oh my god, I've got a birdie bump. Dude, does everyone else struggle with like the mental turmoil that this game puts you in? Do you sometimes not have a great time on the golf course because you play bad? If you don't, then you're Jesus. We haven't got a mulliganless par in ages. We haven't had a mulliganless hole, I think, since like the second. Scenes when I knock this in for another bird. Well, that wind's taking it. That was terrible. One more and you've got it, I reckon. It'll save you a lot of strife. Here we go, there we go. Yep. Terrible lag part, I took two mulligans there. Two mulligans for a par on the hole is not terrible. I, I can't be mad, I'm still one under par. 120 meters, but it's about a one club win behind me. So we're gonna spoon a 52 up there. Looks good. Oi! That'll work for us. I'm on the green, I've got a birdie putt. I won't make it, but I've got another mulliganless par coming up. It reminds me of a time I had a birdie putt on that green right there, and I took 16 attempts at it and missed it and just took a par. Take it, I reckon. We did it, we got a mulliganless par. I burned my demons of that hole in that green. I should have just done that. I'd be in the exact same score, but I'd have 16 mulligans less. Yeah, true. Bro, when you think about that, it's like probably over half the mulligans I've used in this video on that green. Yeah. Good learning curve. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do this again, so if you wanna watch that video, make sure you're subscribed. And there's four holes to go. The worst news for me right now is they're the three toughest holes on the course for me, I think. Par four, absolutely into the wind. It's just died down, so I'm gonna try sneakily play. Oh, what the? Ooh. What am I doing? There you go. Not a great tee shot. Already used two mulligans. I just need to get this on the green. <laughs> oh! Oh, you're in the death pit. Bro, like, I don't know if I can get it on the green. You don't have to hit another one. When it's not going into any worse place. I don't know if you heard it on camera, I said, can't be any worse. Let's hit it OB. There we go, that'll do it. Not great golf here, but I've got a good chance for a little two-part. Smart play, just take mulligans. I've already used 50 of them, what's another 10? <laughs> I had four balls that I hit there. A Spalding, a Spalding, a Shrixen, and a Callaway I found. And the one ball I hit so pure, I hit it OB into those trees, I can't find it, was a Pro V1. Big two part here. Taking that. Oh God. Easy. I was real scared there was another 16 putter coming. Seven mulligans for that par. <laughs> I might have more mulligans than shots. Dude, we gotta have a counter here, a shot counter and a mulligan counter. That's so embarrassing, this is going on the internet. The amount I golf, the people I work with, they think I'm like, good. <laughs> They're like, you're always golfing. 
We're literally getting blown backwards. Oh, I'm gonna have to keep moving, otherwise we're gonna fall over. I've just used seven mulligans, so, you know, I've proven I'm not afraid to use the mulligans. He's used the mulligans bravely. <laughs> a brave boy. Hey, also leave a like and a comment for Dan ladies and gentlemen. He's just round here being my therapist, cameraman, caddy. He's dedicated his time his whole day for me to capitulate like this. A little sip of Powerade. And hey, can I find a green? 119 meters, but it's so windy, I have no idea what to do. Oh God. Stay on. Oh. One more? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so windy, man. Oh, that's beautiful. Good choice of mulligan there. This is the part where you say birdie part, you get up there and you're like seven meters on a sloping down one. Guaranteed par, not mulliganless par though, so we don't like it. I'll, I'll take a birdie here. I don't think I'll take like more than three looks at it. Oh. oh. What do you reckon? I mean, I've already got like 70 mulligans on my counter. Come on. Oh. oh! Three mulligans on that hole for a par. Uh, it would have been one, but I got a bit aggressive going for the birdie to try shoot a 69. <laughs> 69 with two bogeys and 100 mulligans. Can't just sit around watching me miss putts all day, can you? You've already watched me miss about 37 putts probably. Although, this is a tough hole now, so yeah. maybe it was worth it to like stock up a birdie, because how many mulligans am I going to need to get a par on this hole? And then I got a par five coming home, which could be yeah. uh, three wood because my driver's broken. I think that's right, to be honest. 183 to the middle. I think I might do that four iron again to try to low and roll it up. It's so windy, you wouldn't know that I'm currently one under par. God, the clubhouse isn't going to see that coming. But that's not terrible. Don't know, man. We've got one ball and then we have to take wherever this goes. I'm gonna chest the short game here. I've used three mulligans so far. I need to go up down. This is gonna be tough. It's more like it. You go with that? So four mulligans already, and I'm still a while away. Thought I was closer. Every single time I thought I was close, I'm ages away. Oh, he's done it. Oh no. <laughs> there you go. Right, only six mulligans on that hole, and I should have used another one off the tee. We've learned that lesson before. Probably should have had a better wedge. We've learned that lesson before. I don't learn my lessons. We're on the 18th hole. I've made it. I'm going to break par. <laughs> it has been a roller coaster. There has been lessons learned left, right, center that have not sunk in into this little peanut brain. But all I know is right now, I'm one under par. I've used about 90 mulligans. Long par five. Just get it in play here is the goal. Although a birdie for 69 would be nice. Let's go. I'm in the middle of the fairway. I think I'm gonna try now and change mission. Mission 69, it's on. I want to ask Dan, after 17 holes, you've watched this whole thing. Honest answer, how many mulligans do you think I'm on? Oh, I reckon he's on about 84. <laughs> what do you think? Like 75. I'm going to be doing this exact same thing in a couple of weeks. So make sure you subscribe to see me do that. I think Dan's going to do better than me. Hey, stay tuned. Four hybrid, 190 to the pin. I'm gonna go one more. Oh, it's just the Ooh. exact same shot. That one's gone further left though. Yeah. Sticking with that? Yeah, I mean, I'll get a par from there. <laughs> Up and down for birdie. Oh, around. I'll take it. We're in front of the clubhouse now, so I don't really want to use a mulligan. I just want to get a nice two putt. This is for 69.
Did you just get 69? <laughs> Oh, that sounds pretty What have you just done, Liam? I've just shot a 69 at Paraparaumu Beach Golf Club. I've just made a massive part in front of the clubhouse. <laughs> That's unreal. The crowd's going crazy. The crowd's going crazy. That was fun. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Thanks, you guys, as well, for watching. Really appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe and like and comment. Comment what you think the best moment of the video was. There's two parts a broken driver head and a 16 putt mulligan for a par. So, <laughs> it was a really long video. First time we've done a really long video. I'm gonna go buy Dan a beer for dealing with me for the last four hours because I was probably a mess and a nightmare. Night, night.